What's up guys, uh, Lawrence Aponte here. Just shooting this quick video for you. A bunch of messages and comments have been coming in about that Lanier app and um, wanting to know how easy it is to use or like how do I use it. Um, so I'm just going to film this little quick video for you guys and maybe it'll, it, it'll like clear some things up and, and help you. So um, this is a test store that I have here. And um, I've added some products here. As you can see, we have some Chihuahua products and we have a couple of cat items and whatnot. Okay, so if we go to the app section, okay, real quick, let's go back to the products. So if we go to like, for instance, this cat ears ring and we view it on our store normally, this is it. This is where you would come to um, if you want to send your customer there. Um, they would come here. This is your just regular, regular store. So now let's go to Lanier. Here's that. Okay, so um, we'll just start a new funnel here. You just hit new funnel and we'll call this one cat lovers. And you have to choose the primary funnel item. So this is your lead item that you're going to bring the customers in on. So we'll just use this ring as an example and we'll name it cat. Okay, so this is the back office. So basically what you do is you find your products here on the right hand side that you want to add into the funnel. So in this case, because it's cat related, I'll just type in cat and I'll pull this bracelet along and um, this necklace. OK, so basically here's what's going to happen. We're going to set up an upsell. So if the customer adds this ring, we're going to automatically upsell them for this necklace. OK. So now we'll do a bracelet as well. So if the customer doesn't want the ring, we'll downsell them for a bracelet. OK. So that's a simple funnel right there. So we'll even we'll get a little bit more into it right now again. So then I have this cups here. So what we can do is what I like to do is have three items, a lead item, an upsell, as well as a downsell, and then another exit item. So we'll make this the upsell if they say yes for that or the downsell. And we'll also do an upsell for this and the downsell for this. So this is a funnel. So this we literally just built a funnel right there. We would hit save funnel. And if you wanted to preview it, we just hit preview and I mean there it goes limited time special offer yes let's add it to our order oh look we have a little necklace no thanks I don't want it and oh look this is such a cool cup sure I'll get it so I mean that's that that's a simple funnel but Lanier actually goes like a step further so it actually it'll take you to checkout so you can actually come here and Click this little settings button here and now we can fully customize this entire page. So what I like to do is I like to go to um, Google here and I just search for like, we'll search something like cute cat wallpaper. Okay, so that's what I like to do. Look at images. We'll find something kind of cute, whatever. That looks cool. View image. Um, Open the image a new tab and it'll save it there to the desktop. We'll save it. Come back to Lanier. Um, turn on the background image. We'll choose the file and uh, where it go? Right there. So once it loads it, you um, hit save changes and boom. Now we have, you know, this. Uh, background that resonates better with the audience so we can actually switch this headline out and put you know um a cat lovers must you know something simple like that and then you can even customize these buttons so you can say yes add this to my order um, we'll keep that one there or then you can actually change this no thanks i like to kind of do like some uh negativity in there and you'll see what I mean I hate cats so you know someone that 
you know, it's just kind of like some reverse type psychology thing, I guess. I don't know. But um, it'll work. No one wants to push that button if they love cats. And uh, we'll hit... Oh, you could turn the quantity on. In this case, we will turn the quantity on so they could buy multiples. This is good if you were doing like a tripwire. So if you're doing like a free item on the front end, you can turn this off so that the customer won't abuse the um, free item and get a whole bunch. That's also great. Here, I like to turn the tint box on to kind of make it with save. And I mean, there it goes. A cat lover's must. We'll save that. We'll set it as the funnel default. So that means it will... Um, be that for the entire funnel we'll close it here and then what I like to do is come here and I edit each individual headline so I'll think of something creative so um, here we'll just do something like our best seller so when they click yes or no I like it to change on each individual one and we'll hit save changes close editor we'll also do this one here And we'll put um, um, uh, I don't know. We'll just think of a uh, cute. Or we'll just think of a uh, limited quantity uh, available. Let me see. My spelling is horrific. Go, save changes, close editor, and then we'll do one on the last one as well. I get real personal, so that's just how, that's something I do. You can keep it generic if you want. Do this one the last chance offer. And we'll save changes. We'll close that editor and we'll preview it one more time so you can see oh, cat lovers must. Yes, I had this in my order. You know, change out the bestseller. Thanks, and so forth. So you guys get the get the point. So that's one of the reasons why I like using Lanier. It's an easy to bump up your um, items uh, and make some pretty cool funnels. I mean, literally on the fly, we would save this funnel and we'll go back to the dashboard, and you'll see all of our funnels are there. So if we go here to this one here that I made before. It's like a Chihuahua. You see, I have the Chihuahuas in the background. We're bringing them in like on a free sticker. Yes, add this to my order. Automatically get bumped up. Hey, look at this shirt. No, thanks. I don't really like it. And here's a cup. Oh, yeah, I got to add it. So, I mean, that's why I like Lanier. It works really well. Um, it's really versatile. It does all this tracking. So, once, I mean, this is just a test store. So, you know, it won't show any sales, orders, or visits. But once it does, all the analytics will go there and you hit this little analytic button here and it'll show you the percentage of people saying yes or no. Um, you can even go as far as to split test. So let's say that you wanted to, you know, test out different items. So we can, you know, put this here, throw this in there and then, you know, um, if we were going to drag this here and it would be an upsell or a downsell however you wanted to do it you know in this case it wouldn't resonate because it's chihuahua but just for the sake of an example you know um the app uses smart technology to decipher you know um it'll offer people this and then offer people this and then based on you know the results it'll favor one or the other and then it'll help you split test and then it'll also you know when you hit this it'll give you the um the statistics based on it as well which is really cool. So I love this app, especially for like a general store because I run a couple of general stores and it can be difficult to just bring the customer in and not resonate well with them. And with this particular app, it lets you do that with ease. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed that video, there's gonna be a link somewhere in the comment section or um, in this description, you can click on it and um, get the app at a discount just for this group. Um, yeah, just let me know if you have it in the comments as well and uh, some ways that you use it. Till next time, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.